All right, guys. Well, that's the beginning. Old Jeep's gonna pull around, but this is the base of our chicken coop for the chickens. All right. This will take a couple days to put this thing together. Ought to be a pretty good adventure. Hope y'all enjoy this.
Camp's just about done. Chickens have about three or four more weeks before they start to lay eggs. But I wanted to show you this. Take a look down there. Those are baby wrens. So the first eggs in the chicken coop have already been laid and hatched out. Kind of neat. Well, time has flown by and life got away from us there for a little while. But as you can tell, a lot's happened with our little chicken coop. Uh, for the most part, it's done. Now, it's got a few little things I'd like to tweak on it. With any construction project, you can have that. I also want to put in uh, automated water and automated feed at some point. I'm going to get you a walkthrough right now. If y'all have any ideas, I've got some oversight here, something that I've missed, I welcome any of that information because just about anybody that's had chickens has more experience than I do when it comes to this stuff. So fill me in, educate me, tell me what you know. I wasn't really able to show you a lot of what was going on as far as the build or explain what was happening. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, it's been three months again. The chickens are full grown, which means that uh, I'm getting close to 15 eggs a day now. That's nine browns, 10 Easter eggers, and three game hens. That's a lot of chickens, but uh, it's been really awesome thus far. Now this, this coop right here, this is my design, parts and pieces. Some of y'all are probably wondering where the deck came from. That was salvaged from the school district. Uh, they had some portables, they had a bunch of decks on them. And before they destroyed all of them, I snagged this one. So uh, that's what came of it. When I cut the ends off of it with the chainsaw, those parts and pieces became the steps. So I repurposed those. Don't judge me too harshly because I am not a carpenter on a lot of things, but definitely never that. Uh, the roof system, that came from the Alamo Lumber. That was the Alamo Lumber sign about 15 miles up the road. It's a hardware store, and they were trashing that sign about eight years ago, and I showed up and took off their hands before they crushed it. Uh, the square tubing up here for the framing, my grandfather squirreled that away like 30 years ago. Uh, the uprights, these cedar posts, these beautiful cedar posts, those are just from a ranch supply. They came out of my horse corrals that I pulled apart like five years ago and stacked up. They came and were used as well. So uh, we tried to reuse as much as possible. It only works up to an extent and eventually you've got to go out and buy some things. So uh, you got to make some concessions at some point, most likely. Well, you'll see some two by fours, some one by fours and some plywood parts and pieces like that that we had to go ahead and buy. So I want to go ahead and show you this decking. And this is, for all intents and purposes, this is our chicken run. So we weren't exactly sure how the flock was going to do with all the predators around because we do live in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's nothing out here. Thus far, they free range all day, every day. We let them out first light. We bring them in as twilight hits in and everything has been great, but we're just now getting into winter. So eventually the defenses for this chicken coop at nighttime will be tested. Uh, we've got a humane trap up underneath this chicken coop and that'll be set here pretty soon because I'd, I'd rather have preventative methods in and I wanna make sure it's humane so that I have the choice. Uh, if something has rabies, I can dispatch it. If something is like an armadillo gets in there, I can let it go and I'm not killing indiscriminately. So that's what we have planned thus far. Uh, the square mesh here should work. We have this thing elevated. And so it's been Thompson water sealed. It's elevated because I don't wanna mess with the fire ants. And hopefully it gives them a little more defense against the possums, the raccoons, and everything else that again is gonna try and test the defenses of this coop here in the next month or so. And uh, it ought to get exciting at some point. Everything likes to eat chicken. So we shall see. Y'all give me some advice. If I am missing something, definitely try and give me some advice. Please, please, please. But it's worked thus far. You saw the trailer bring in this deck, and that means that this chicken coop can be picked up at any time. That trailer can go right back under it, and I can move this chicken coop, so it also makes it mobile. Now, there's lots of little benefits in here, and uh, if y'all are interested, I can go ahead and get you dimensions. I don't know if my, my system right here is worth anything, but, uh, I'm sure y'all will tell me. If you want to know, I can probably make a video and get you what you need. 
Uh, this right here behind me, this big wooden box, this is the coupe. It's got two big doors on it. This is also my design, uh, salvaged metal on the top. Fortunately, most of the lumber had to be purchased. So uh, that's how that went. A big door right here on big hinges. That'll shut in the evenings whenever it gets real dark and all the girls are up there on the roosting bars. They're nice and secure inside there. This door, go ahead and get the latch. The latch is open, here we go. Did y'all hear the sound go down? It's because of cloud went over the sun. All right, I'll explain that to you in just a moment. But check that out. On top, or on the side rather, of this big door are the roosting boxes, or the nesting boxes rather. And uh, the girls will get inside there. Half the time I come in here to get the eggs and one of the girls will be in there. And so about 11 eggs out of the 15 on average per day come out of here. The rest of them, the chickens still hide them around and we have to go play like it's Easter every day, which isn't bad. So they're, they're figuring it out. It's working pretty well. But I have these roosting boxes and I designed this door so it swing out and size it for these roosting these nesting boxes. Sorry, I keep on saying that, guys. Now, as far as the bedding down here, check it out. It's just sand, and I will wash my hands, but this is acting like kitty litter. Now, one thing I will go ahead and do here in the next month is take the sand out and elastomeric it, or put some kind of uh, plastic covering down to make sure that I'm not rotting out the boards. It is Thompson water sealed, but I don't want to deal with rot even if it's five or six years down the way. Uh, we come through once a day, and kind of screen the sand, take the nasty stuff, throw it out, leave the sand. The roosting bars here, these are just two by fours for 21 chickens. It's working great. Uh, they all get along quite well. Now for the sound, I know some of y'all were curious about that. It's barely running, but that's because we have clouds out right now. Those are two 12 volt computer fans and uh, they run about three, four dollars a piece. I've used them for lots of applications over the years, and those are wired to a 10 watt solar panel on the top of this roof. 10 watts is way more than they need, but I wanted it so that uh, the first bit, the first hint of sun touching the panel would make this thing fire up because it gets hot really fast, especially in the summers. It's mid-November and it's still 90 degrees out here. So first light, they get a little bit of air, which is a good thing. We usually let them out shortly after that. But, uh, it allows this thing to air out. It gets air movement through. And my hope is that if we ever have a fly problem, which we have not had yet, that it shreds some flies because it runs eight, nine, 10 hours a day. I've had these fans in the past run 24 hours a day for three, four years at a time. But uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it'll run further maybe run longer so we'll see we'll see we'll see so let me go ahead and shut this thing leave that there so the chickens need to lay some eggs they can do that now this box is not anchored to anything so it is still mobile i have enough wire up there that goes to the solar panel where i can still move it around it's not too heavy so if i want to take this box and flip it sideways and put it up against that wall i can do so same thing with that wall so I can still move it around and do what I need to with it if I ever want to. A little bit of storage up on top and secondary roof. If we ever had rain that's going sideways like a hurricane, it's got a little bit more protection. Uh, you have the space up underneath the coop. It's decked all the way back there. So they've got some feed bowls, water bowl down there. And, uh, so they'll come up throughout the day, check on that. They like coming in and out of this area, but they don't spend too much time on it at all. The chicken coops come together pretty well. Not bad at all. First twilight, the boys call the girls in and they step up all the way up here into the run and we shut the door. They'll eat for about an hour because we'll give them just a little bit. And then as the solar lights up here turn on, we'll come back, we'll shut the coop door. All the girls will be up there on the roost and everything works. They love it. We'll shut this door out and it'll be all right. So down there, if you hadn't already seen it, is a trap. Give y'all a once around. Here's a look at it. Again, if y'all see anything, tell me. If you want dimensions on this or plans for this thing, tell me. But uh, 
this is just me coming up with it. I don't have a whole lot of background, as in no background with chickens. I just dreamed something up and I built it. So, tell me what you think. If you like build sequences like this, tell me about it, guys, in the comment section, because there is always stuff to do out here at the ranch, things to build. It's just depending on whether a camera's on or not. So like, subscribe, share, share the heck out of this video. Thank y'all for everything that y'all do. As always, as always, until next time. I'm gonna go eat some eggs. Later.